So, what should you stop doing if you want to raise a competent, capable, and healthy young adult? I have a few ideas to share, but fair warning, these might hurt a little because we all do some of these things sometimes. I challenge you to pick one task from this list and stop doing it for your child. Remember, these are okay, but if we keep doing these things for them all the time, it will take them longer to become the kind of adults we want them to become. The reality is that they are capable of doing all of these things. So here's what we should stop doing for our kids. Number one, waking them up in the morning. Number two, making their breakfast and packing their lunch. Number three, filling out their paperwork. Four, delivering their forgotten items. Five, making their failure to plan your emergency. Six, doing their laundry. Seven, emailing and calling their teachers and coaches. Eight, controlling their academics. Nine, fighting their battles. You will have many opportunities to fight battles for your kids. You must determine whether doing so will ultimately bring the desired result. Here's another example. My daughter had forgotten to submit a homework assignment. She had many excuses about why she didn't get it done. Some were even valid. She asked her teacher if she could turn it in late. He answered, no, I'm sorry, you had all week to submit that assignment. She was frustrated and wanted us to step in and advocate for her. We did not. As it turns out, this big assignment she missed was the difference between her getting an A in the class and a B. In addition, this grade lowered her GPA, which caused her college scholarship to drop to a lower level. Instead of fighting the battle for her, we decided to let her experience temporary failure. The consequences were big in her life at that moment, but the end result of her learning resilience and a strong work ethic through that experience was all worth it. So back to the challenge. What is one action you'll stop doing for your child? Say it out loud, write it down, or even tell someone. The more we allow our kids to take ownership of their activities and actions, the more independent and capable they will become.